Mmm. <sighs> I'm about to fuck this bag of chips. Uh, I feel like a hood rat. Like, my inner hood rat really does come out when I smell hot Cheetos. Woo! <laughs> Anyways, so sorry, y'all. I need a moment. Hot Cheetos and Thoughts 2 is here. We're talking about Monique, Black China, maybe a little about the Queen's Court. We're going to talk about this Florida shooting. I got some things to get off my chest. Let's go. What's up, y'all? It's me, Tim Hill. I'm back another week, another video, another Friday. Whatever order you want to put it in is the order it needs to be in. Thank you so much for all the love support thus far. Um, if you're going through something, please watch last week's video, motivational video. Not getting numbers that I think it should get, but that's whatever. This week, moving on. Hachi Dose and Thoughts 2. We're just going to get right into it. I'm going to start off about talking about Monique. Monique is on Bitch You Thought Tour. And Mama is over it. She recently just went on the um, Breakfast Club to talk about how she was asking for a boycott of Netflix and all this stuff. And when I say she lit the fire in Charlemagne's, I'm sorry, in Lenard's ass, whoop! Mm -hmm. It was real nice, nasty, like real auntie, like, like, you know how your aunties be arguing and they call you sweetie or sweet brother, baby? Charlemagne was shook, or Lenard, I should say. It was just a moment. Like, it was several. It was hilarious. Monique, I would like to say I apologize for what I said in my videos long ago. I get what you're saying, girl. Definitely speak up. She actually, when you think about it, she is doing her duty. She's making sure she gets the credit for what she do. She wants all black women to get paid equal, and I'm all for her. I didn't realize that I was judging her in a negative aspect until I listened to Viola Davis, and Viola Davis literally said the exact same thing. And I'm not comparing Viola Davis to Monique, but they're just saying we want equal pay, and if we're not going to get equal pay, we're going to talk about it. So I'm all for it. It's funny that we say this, that, oh, she's not polite. Who says anyone has to be polite to get what they want in life? We know that's not true, so we need to stop putting that on Monique, because no one has to be polite to get what you want. It's, I mean, it's, it's probably prefer that you're polite to get what you want but that doesn't mean you have to be polite so Monique especially being a black woman doesn't have to do anything but be herself and get what she wants out of life and that's what she's doing that's all I'm saying so shout out to you Monique keep pushing keep making me laugh keep coming on with the auntie Reed sis I am here for my baby Woo. <laughs> oh my god I feel like a real bitch how she does a Taylor Port. Mm. A video of Black China was recently leaked out of her giving some probably C minus type head. I don't know who gives head like that, but it's helping her. Um, but recently, Black China, during that fiasco when that video leaked of her giving oral sex, another video was found and it said Black China sex tape. I'm not gonna link it below. If you go to X videos, you'll probably find it. Black China is pretty much screaming, it wasn't me, real shaggy like, it wasn't me. And you caught me on the shower, it wasn't me. And I hit it on the sofa, or something like that. Black China saying that's not her, that's fucking in that video. She was saying that was her head though, but hey. I think it's hilarious. Because when I think of Black China, I think it was like a sex symbol. And so when I, when I actually see that person having sex and I see that, her skills are less than mine. Sweetie, you ain't doing nothing but give me a little confidence boost. That means I'm going in. I don't need to be because she's getting her Range Rovers, Land Rovers. She has two kids by coined people. So, girl, Black China, keep doing you. Don't worry about these haters, girl. If you want to give a little, girl, do a little because you got other, all these other people making macaroni sounds and gawking and all this other stuff and what they got. A nigga playing PlayStation 4 on their couch all day. That's all it is, girl. Don't worry about what they're saying. Moving on. I want to talk about the Queen's Court, but I'm not going to mention anything about a snack or two, snack of puss. Um, well, you've heard in the past, I got to stop eating these because these are making my throat burn. What kind of hot Cheetos are these? Anyway, I'll put her name somewhere around here. I'm not talking about her. She's not getting no free promo for me. 
And I can't read like Clunky Dineva. And no shade, I'm not trying to get read by Kaya. So pay her dust. This is for T.S. Madison. Baby, if you don't call my good sis Jasmine Masters and get the Queen's Court back, I didn't watch when it was with Kaya because I'm not a fan. But if you bring Jasmine Masters on, I promise you, I will watch. And I'm sure other people start watching too. Because we need some hilarious people up there. And Jess Master was hilarious. Kaya was funny. Damn it, I said her name. Anyways, fuck Kaya, bitch. Um, I said her name. It's whatever. I just don't see it for her. She's homophobic, transphobic, and all types of other phobics. I don't have time. I'm supporting you as an individual, Kaya. Ooh, T.S. Madison. I'm all over the place. <laughs> now. Let me get my, 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 put my political hat on. Put the hot Cheetos down, just in case Donald Trump wants to watch this. Actually, no. Um, so recently there's been a discussion about arming teachers in schools, and I want everyone to know that it would be the dumbest decision that we could make as a country to arm a teacher. Um, if I even, I'm not even thinking about students now, I'm thinking about when I was back in high school, and how I used to get into it with teachers on a regular. If we arm teachers, that's not gonna make no situation better. And there's several reasons why. I think with arming teachers, that just is giving a teacher a weapon. Um, not all teachers can handle pressure of the classroom, let alone the pressure of a shooter coming in, but a pressure alone in the classroom, teachers get frustrated. Teachers yell, teachers throw things. God forbid a teacher has a gun and starts shooting off rounds in the classroom because she pissed off. Some teachers are scared where they teach. Teachers in inner city schools, teachers in suburbs, can't even, have, can't even handle their class load. So now we're giving them weapons to protect the students? I don't think that would do anything. Another reason why I don't think army teachers are going to stop anything, because mass shootings happen outside of schools. I don't know if anybody else has lived in America in the last mm, 25 years that I have lived in America, but... Um, Mass shootings do not only happen in schools. We have churches, movie theaters. We have, they're happening everywhere. So it's like you giving, you giving guns to teachers is not going to necessarily prevent anything. It's just going to move a problem to another location. And I'm not, that's all I'm going to speak on it because I'm not going to share my thoughts of what we should do with weapons. I will say though, giving teachers guns is a flop and a half. And that's all for that. I think that's it. My videos have been short and sweet. I've been working on me. I'm good. I'm happy. Thank y'all for watching. Make sure y'all like, share, subscribe, or whatever. Hot Cheetos and Thoughts too. Yeah. Bye.